Welcome back to Tech by Pike. We're really excited to have the new, for 2023, Alienware M16 gaming laptop. And also the fact that it has the new NVIDIA RTX 4000 series GPU in it. Um, this one comes with an Intel 13th Gen i9 13900HX processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, also comes with a 1 terabyte NVMe M.2 PCIe SSD, and then, like I said before, it has the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. Um, this also comes with a 16 inch QHD display at 240 hertz. Um, with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and then it has a full size uh, per key RGB keyboard which we're really thrilled about and then uh, this particular laptop we got uh, comes in the dark metallic moon color and we will uh, check that out when during the unboxing so like I said, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it. We're gonna check out the chassis, the ports, the keyboard, the trackpad, uh, all that. And then hopefully we're able to uh, get into it and check out the internals and see if there's any opportunity for upgrading. So with that, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the laptop here. Let's move that around. All right, let's pull out the uh, cables and the power brick. I think this is 330 watts. That is hefty. I don't know if you can see that, but wow, that is nice and big. And <laughs> we'll have to weigh that with the laptop uh, with the rest of the cables. Let's go ahead and pull out the laptop here. All right, and the propaganda. Go ahead and move this out of the way. All right, so uh, the power brick, like I said before, 330 watts. It's a big boy. And it looks like this thing has a pretty nice long cable. So I like that. Good. Set that off to the side until we weigh it. And then we've got our other attached cable here for power. We'll go ahead and, and this looks like a pretty long cable too. So this will reach all the way up to the table with leaving the brick actually on a stool on the floor so that'll be good whoops all right nice and long i like that then we'll move the ties out of the way here and let's go ahead and get with the propaganda it looks like we got some alienware support welcome to alienware we got some stickers uh, which we will not use and let's go ahead and open it up looks like we got uh, a little bit of a how-to, what do the ports do, what are they, and uh, how to hook up your uh, power brick, your cables. All right, move this up to the side. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. I've always been a big fan of Alienware ever since the 90s. Um, before Dell bought them or merged with Alienware merged with them. Boy, that is pretty slick. Nice. Notice the big back end here for exhaust. Let's go ahead and test out the top of the laptop here. A little bit of flex towards the middle, but that's expected. I'm going to lift this up with one finger. Oh, that's surprising. Usually there's some kind of a felt or screen protector here, um, but they didn't include that. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and check out screen wobble. I'm going to lift it up one more time. Uh, very little wobble. That's pretty stiff. It's pretty secure. So no flex, no flex in the bottom really. Uh, pretty tight actually. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and check out the keyboard deck. It's got this kind of rubbery, uh, rubbery feel on the palm rest. Trackpad is good. It's a little bit smaller than I'd expect, but um, it's pretty consistent with last year's model. Clicks just right about there, but it's very smooth. The rubbery texture goes all the way around the keyboard. You got some air intake here and uh, it feels pretty good. Let's check out the keyboard. Now, it, this does not have Cherry MX um, and uh, it's just a regular uh, per-key RGB. I think if you go out to the Alienware website, I think I saw you if you pay an extra I don't know, 200 bucks or so, uh, you can get the Cherry Max keys. Um, but uh, I don't know, this feels pretty decent. Not bad, and I'm not necessarily sure I would go for the extra 200 bucks, but that's just me. All right, fantastic. Got your uh, um, camera here, uh, which we will test out. You got your power um, button here that lights up and I forgot to mention that the Alienware head lights up as well. You can control the colors within uh, the Alienware software and uh, but so far everything checks out. It's got this nice big exhaust in the back. Not sure if you can see that. Also we got some IO which we will go over here in just a moment. So uh, so far so good. I really like it. Uh, it's just hefty and we'll weigh that here in a minute. We're going to go over the I.O. here, the ports, and on the left hand side here we got the Ethernet port jack and we have a USB 3.2 Gen 1 um, and uh, I think it also has PowerShare and then we have our headphone jack. And uh, oh, I'm not sure if you see this or not, but we have some downward uh, to the side facing speaker grill and then we have some uh, airflow here. We're going to go to the right hand side and uh, no ports but we got the same speaker grill here and some more venting. Let's go ahead and go to the back and we have definitely some ports back here. We have our Thunderbolt 4 uh, and it looks like we have two USB-C Thunderbolt 4s. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 1. We have a HDMI 2.1. We have a display port. We have an SD card slot. And then we have our barrel power port and lots of exhaust out the back. Turn it over where it's sitting on the top of the table on the lid. And we have this, you'll notice this big uh, rubber foot here and it, it, there's kind of a notch right here where airflow can get in while it's sitting on the table uh, but you got this nice uh, air intake grills and uh, we've got a number of screws here that we are going to attempt to uh, crack this open and take a look at the internals uh, but first let's uh, go ahead and weigh this guy and uh, see what we get all right the laptop alone weighs around six pounds, 14.1 ounces. And if we include the brick and cable, I'm gonna gingerly put that on top there, uh, we get around seven pounds and it's going down slowly. And it's around seven pounds, 12 ounces. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the internals, but first a quick review here, we have this long rubber foot that goes all the way around the exhaust. Keep this laptop off the desk for better cooling, better airflow uh, while playing your AAA games. The bottom plate is secure by eight Phillip head screws, like this one here. Uh, six of them do come out, but two of them on the corners here, uh, they do not, but they do lift this bottom plate for better access so you can undo the clips so you can lift this out. No screws on top, but it is secured by these teeth here on the bottom plate that you need to kind of uh, slide in like that. Uh, all right. Lots of grills. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. 
Uh, first thing we see is our 86 watt battery. We have the two that we saw here uh, downward to the side speakers. There's more speakers uh, on this laptop for better sound system. We'll go over that uh, in the other video. Um, another thing you might notice is it has the one terabyte SSD here uh, that the laptop came with, but it has an extra slot here for another SSD. And then you've got two slots for two shorties uh, SSDs. I think these can get up to one terabyte each. So lots of opportunity for extra storage, which is fantastic. Um, you'll see that it has four fans. It has uh, one of the fans here that fires out this way. And then this one fires out the back and to the side. And this one also fires out the back and to the side uh, to keep airflow and I think this just kind of keeps the airflow moving throughout the uh, chassis inside here is kind of what I'm thinking so uh, lots of cooling here so that's great news let's go ahead and check out the memory dims here I'm just going to remove one don't do this without unplugging the battery I'm just going to move that up so you can take a look at it. All right, so this came with 16 gigs. This is an 8 gig dim. Go ahead and put that back in. All right. Great. And then uh, the Wi Fi card is right here. It's also swappable. I think it's a Wi Fi 6E. Uh, so, all great stuff. So, there you go. Like I said, uh, lots of cooling, lots of storage, uh, upgradable RAM. Um, that's fantastic. We're going to go ahead and close this out here. And then I think we're going to fire it up. All right, so uh, we've turned on the laptop and um, the keyboard lights up, the Alienware head lights up for the power button, and the Alienware head lights up on the top of the lid. But unfortunately, uh, the screen does not uh, power up and uh, we went through a number of troubleshooting steps with the uh, Dell support tech and uh, they are telling me it is a motherboard issue. Um, so anyway, uh, I, I'm sure this is not indicative to the Alienware, uh, this particular laptop and this line. Um, these things happen. Uh, we do lots of reviews of laptops on this channel and uh, every once in a while we will get a dud. So uh, we will have to uh, exchange this out and get a new one and see if we can do some benchmarking uh, video on that particular laptop. Um, so until then we'll have to wait. But uh, I'm, I feel bad because uh, we were all pretty excited about trying to get this up uh, up and running and doing some benchmarking and some gaming uh, for this video. Uh, but unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that. So uh, anyway, uh, let's do some final thoughts here. So that's it for this unboxing of the Alienware M16 gaming laptop. And I still have it connected to the power port here. <sighs> gaming laptop. Uh, a little bit of a disappointment uh, just because... We weren't able to turn it on. We were able to turn it on, but the screen was dead and uh, we weren't able to do any uh, benchmarking or gaming with this particular unit. We'll go ahead and get a replacement. And uh, as soon as we get uh, a new one, uh, we'll do that, the benchmarking, and post that as soon as possible. Um, other than that, uh, I like the build. Uh, the keyboard was fantastic. It is a little bit hefty. Uh, the trackpad was smooth, but a little bit small. Plenty of I.O. And like I said, uh, this is rock solid. Um, we got it out on Best Buy for about $2,800. Um, is it worth it? I, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to get a new one and do some benchmarking and find out. But so far, uh, it's a pretty decent laptop. Is it easy to carry around in a, uh, in a backpack? I don't know. I could think of others that probably are just as powerful and probably a little bit thinner and a little more lightweight. Um, I can't imagine myself traveling, me, this is me, uh, traveling around with this laptop um, in a backpack, uh, slung around my back all the time. Uh, so anyway, that, but that's just me. Uh, anyway, uh, there you go. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.
We appreciate it. it helps the channel not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you with hopefully working laptops. We'll see you in the next one.